Hello there friends and welcome back to the channel. Back at it with some more Knights of the Old Republic 2. In today's video, I am going to go over all the lightsaber locations in the game. Not including random drops from lightsaber wielding Sith, you should be able to get 14 lightsabers from all of the planets. 11 of them if you don't have the Sith Lords Restored Content mod. Before I dive into the planets and locations, let's briefly cover the process of building your lightsaber at the beginning of the game. After recruiting Beodur and chatting with him, he will tell you to bring him three lightsaber parts so he can craft you a new one. You will always get your first piece from Citadel Station, whether you help out the Athorians or the Circa Corporation. From either organization, you will have to help them to get access to a shuttle to hunt down the Ebon Hawk. After doing so, you should be awarded your first lightsaber part. The remaining two pieces will need to be collected from any of the lightsaber locations I will soon mention. All locations will give you a full, complete lightsaber, unless you haven't crafted your first one. Like you will instead get one of the three of parts. After the three parts are collected and crafted into a lightsaber, the remaining locations will start giving you full lightsabers. For example, there are two lightsaber locations on Nar Shaddaa. If you go here for your first planet, both spots will give you a lightsaber part, and now you have all three parts and Beodur will craft you one. If you get your lightsaber crafted before hitting Nar Shaddaa, the two locations here will now give you full lightsabers since you have already collected the three parts. So it doesn't matter which location you hit first, the game will make sure that you get your two remaining parts first, and then start spawning full lightsabers at the locations after that. With the three lightsaber parts covered, let's now dive into lightsaber locations and where they are. We will start off with Nar Shaddaa. There are two lightsaber locations here. We will begin the quests for both locations over here at the docks. Head over to the flop house, which is this multi-room storage looking place. Raid the room for goodies and head to the back to this door here. Here we will find a dude named Lutra. I don't know who you are. Going light side, you will want to help him out with his quest. You must reunite him with his beloved who is in the refugee sector. Clear the exchange from the sector and go tell her you have found her man. Now go back to Lutra for your lightsaber. Going dark side, way easier. When you first meet him, we'll just strike that. him down. Bam, easy peasy. Remember, I'll say lightsaber, but you may get a part here if you haven't crafted your first one yet. Now for the lightsaber in Voga's secret stash. While still in the flop house, head to one of the first rooms in the building. It's this one here. You will need to go invisible and eavesdrop in on the conversation. Strap on your stealth field generator, go into solo mode, and listen in. After eavesdropping, you will learn of Juma Juice and how it can put cath hounds to sleep. Head to the cantina and talk to the so, bartender to acquire the Juma Juice. Now find the Twi'lek sure. dude with the ladies Go, around him. He needs a dancer for Voga the Hut. If you went female character, you can do this. But if you went Go male one. character, you can just ask Handmaiden to. Do your dance for Voga and spike the cath hound bowl here in the corner after he passes out. Cath Hounds will also pass out, and now you can security your way into the stash to find your second lightsaber. Nice! Next up, we have Dantooine. Two lightsaber locations for vanilla, and one more if you have the restored content mod. First lightsaber location is in the Jedi Enclave. The restored content lightsaber will also be found in the Jedi Enclave. Make your way through the Enclave until you come across two things. First one will be this dead salvager here on the floor. Continue on until you find his buddy, who will have the dead salvager's will. Tamper with the will so the possessions go to you. You will get dark side points for turning in the tampered will, but it's totally worth the lightsaber. We will now have to free Vrook from the crystal cave, and then Zeron will appear in the main building. Turn the tampered will into Zeron, and voila, enjoy your lightsaber. Back in the Jedi Enclave, you can get another lightsaber if you have the restored content mod. Head over to this place near the entrance. Wander in and slay the Lagrix to get a Jedi Padawan to spawn. She will have our lightsaber. Give her words of encouragement, or strike her down. Either way, you will get the lightsaber from her. One more location left on Dantooine. This one is pretty simple. Progress through the planet until the end when you start dealing with Master Vrook. Help him out or take him down. 
Either way, he will have the final Dantooine lightsaber for us. Next planet is Korriban. Two lightsaber locations here. Make your way through and past the Shirak cave and progress through the Sith Temple to come across this cage here. Looks like this has been Vanilla a version, we will find Master Vash's body here. Restored content modders, we'll find the location to M478. In either version, we will get a lightsaber from here. Next location will be in the back of the Shirak cave that we What's passed that to get here. Stench? Observation. This cave is infested with Shiraks. They shall prove useful for testing my blaster accuracy ratio. There will be a Sith cave in the back. Get through the cave to battle a Revan flashback. After defeating him, you will be awarded the final Korriban lightsaber. Next we will cover M478. Two lightsaber locations here as well. M478 is of course only accessible to those of you that are rocking the restored content mod. These two are real simple. Quest your way through the planet until you encounter Vash's Padawan. Choose to exchange dialogue or exchange blows. Either way, we will receive the lightsaber from him. Continue questing on, and shortly after, we will encounter Master Vash. You have found Same thing as with the Padawan. Exchange words or exchange lightsaber blows. You, you will get the second M478 lightsaber from her, and now we can move on to the next planet. Before we move on to the last set of planets, let's not forget about Visa. Whatever your reasons. Mass massing a hefty amount of light side or dark side points will trigger the Visa cutscene and for her to show up on the Ebon Hawk. Battle and defeat her to claim your new lightsaber. It is possible to trigger her arrival scene on the Citadel station or on the first planet that you visit. You could take advantage of this early on in the game and collect the lightsaber part from her so you only need to acquire one single piece from a visited planet. I covered doing this in one of my previous lightsaber videos. Check the corner if you want to see more details on that. With Visa covered, that leaves us with one more set of planets. Onderon and Duxon. We will be able to snag four lightsabers from this set. We can get three of them before we have to leave and come back, and then the last one when we have to storm the Sith Temple during the party split. So when you first arrive on Duxin, you will have to do some helping tasks around the camp before you can progress. One task will put you out in the jungle slaying Canox and other wildlife. Slay anything you come across. Near Kelborn, in the remains of a Canox, we will find our first lightsaber here. Keep helping out the camp until Mandalore is pleased. Once he is happy with your help, he will reward you with the second lightsaber from this planet. Two more to go. Shortly after helping the camp, we will be able to go to Isis on Onderon. We will be tasked with clearing Dagon Ghent of false charges. Quest your way around until you get his name cleared and he is released from lockup. Once this is done, he will award you the third lightsaber from this planet. One more left. We will have to leave the planet and then come back after completing another planet. Or if this is your last planet, when you go back to your Ebon Hawk, you will get a cutscene that you have a message waiting for you. When we are back, we will have to split the party. You'll send three peeps to Isis and then another three to the Sith Temple on Duxin. Upon completing the Sith Temple, we will get the fourth and final lightsaber from Onderon and Duxin. There is one more for sure place to get a lightsaber. When you're battling Darth Sion, ensure his defeat to gain his lightsaber and usually an upgrade pistol too. And that's it my friends. You now have acquired all for sure lightsabers throughout the planets. Congratulations. You still may find some lightsabers throughout the game. I like to think of them as bonus lightsabers. During Onderon, Duxin, and Malachor 5, you'll encounter many lightsaber wielding Sith enemies. When you defeat them, there is a random chance that they will drop a full lightsaber for you to loot off of them. It's definitely random too. Occasionally during these levels you will die and have to refight some Sith apprentices. While usually this can be a little frustrating, sometimes you will get a lightsaber from one of them that you didn't previously, and in that instance, you may be slightly relieved that you died and retried because now you have an additional lightsaber. With the bonus lightsabers crafted, you now know all the lightsaber locations in Knights of the Old Republic 2. You've done it! Hopefully this helps out a few people in gathering lightsabers better. Since you know where they are, you can now plan your travels more efficiently. Thank you all for checking out the video. We've given away some Steam copies of the game in a Discord giveaway if you want to get entered in that. 
getting the Discord server up and going and just want to show some appreciation to the subscribers for supporting me and watching the videos. And more people need to play this game because it is still great. Get subscribed to check out the latest videos as they're coming out. I got a few more Knights of the Old Republic 2 videos in the works. I got the Discord link for the server in the description for any questions or if you just want to hop on and hang out. Throw a like up if this video helped you out and we will see you in the next one.